Merry Christmas, or at least it's going to feel like Christmas because I have this whole bag of vintage Christmas ornaments to unbox. It's a mystery to me what is in here, but we're going to look through it together and have a holly jolly time. This video is in big thanks to Mr. and Mrs. H. I don't know if they want me to say their last name, so we'll just call them Mr. and Mrs. H who are moving. And in their course of moving, they are downsizing and they came across this bag of vintage Christmas ornaments and they knew exactly who they were going to gift it to. So thank you so much. It was really great seeing you both again. I wish you good luck in your move and in getting everything else sorted, but thank you. I'm so excited to look through these. <laughs> so yes, a big bag of vintage Christmas. What could be better? It is like Christmas morning, so let's get into it, shall we? I have only seen, you know, what's on the top here from glancing, and it looks to be all great things. So let's start with this. Oh, it's a little boot. It's a stocking. Brett. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I'm sure there's no treats in there. I think the bottom is just stuffed with tissue paper so that you can, it can hold its shape. Oh, look at this little Santa. These were very popular. I've seen them in many different sizes, but I do not have a small one. I don't even know if I have a large one. Well, now I have a little guy. <laughs> he is so cute, his little face. These are in great shape too. These are, oh man. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Santa under the mistletoe. You will often see a lot of times these plastic um, ornaments or additional decor. Oftentimes they'll be on picks that you can stick in floral arrangements and some people find them extremely hideous and others love them. This one is cute. I've not seen this type before. We have some, I don't even know where to start, but look at this guy. <laughs> Oh, my, I'm going to need a room for just all of my vintage Christmas. So we have Frosty on a little boot that moves, a kind of like a pool toy. This guy, we're going to put him aside so he doesn't get damaged. It is a glass ornament as a lion. Oh, his poor hair. <laughs> he has seen some better days. Perhaps he can be repaired put him off to the side. There are so many. Oh, look at this little guy. This must have been an ornament made in Mexico. Huh. Usually you see made in Japan for the vintage Christmas, but this little guy was made in Mexico. He did have a little hook up here that you could hang him on the wall. He's cute. You have a whole, oh, they're all, what is this guy? Is this a monkey? Oh no, it's a cow. A nursery rhyme. Okay, well, he's attached to her. So we have the cow that jumped over the moon. Hey, diddle diddle. So there's probably a cat with a fiddle in here somewhere. And then this lovely little lady. She has a pipe cleaner that keeps her head on. Oh my goodness. These are great. I'm going to get a whole bunch at one time. Oh, this guy and his sad eyes. We have the mouse, the deer. Your classic dancing jolly Santa. I'm sure you've seen him in many places. And again, we have another plastic Santa. He only has one deer this time. This deer is going to lead the way. This is very cute. You know, I can even picture this I was gonna say on top of a cake. <laughs> but if you have a small, maybe like a, a dollhouse mantle, a fireplace mantle, or even a little tiny shelf that perhaps you've made from a cheese box, which is what I do often. This will look very nice just sitting right on top of it. So many things. <gasps> this is a guy from the Rescue Rangers. I believe it's a girl. At least it looks just like her. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen the full movie, so I don't know the name, but it reminds me just like the girl from Rescue Rangers. Hopefully you can see that. 
goodness, we have some more deer. This little guy. Look at this donkey. Oh, he's so sad. <laughs> Price Imports, made in Hong Kong. I'm not sure if he's for Christmas, but he's rather cute though too. Look at his eyes. <laughs> he's cute, we'll put him down here. I'm gonna run out of room on my couch here. We have, a, it's like a thin, this one's cardboard. Oftentimes you'll see these in like a, um, a wood and they are used to hold your cards, your Christmas cards. But inside we have some Snoopy-esque ornaments. I say Snoopy-esque because they do look like Snoopy. Just, just a little tad, a little bit different even with some cobwebs. So these have been stored away for quite a long time. But now, this upcoming Christmas, they can see the light again. We have some Noma. Oh my gosh, they had a dollar on them. Oh wow, they have a Woolworth. So at Woolworth, they were $3.49. Then they must have probably been at a yard sale. They're a dollar. So these are replacement bulbs. Bulbs must warm up for several minutes before bubbling action will begin. So I'm going to say these are probably from the 80s. Um, but these are a nice shape. They have not broken. Perfect for replacements. And we have, ooh, these are even older. These are Christmas bubbling lights. These are Acla from Boston, Mass. So they're not Noma, but, you know, same kind of concept. These were $1.99. A little bit cheaper than Woolworth. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's still so much in here. Again, oh, Mr. and Mrs. Santa. I often see these probably the most out of everything that I come across. We have a tree. Oh, this is an Anna Lee. Some people hate Anna Lees. They find them hideous and scary looking and other people love to collect them. That one's a rather hairy one. Maybe it's a squirrel? I'm not sure. We have a newer Santa. <laughs> we have some in the original packaging, a holiday mouse. These are always fun when you do find them in the original packages. We have this guy. <laughs> He's, this is fun. Again, that plastic decor, a little elf, and a little like manger rickshaw kind of thing. Not a rickshaw, I know that. Oh, look at this! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh. One dollar? Take me back to the sale that had that for a dollar? This is a tin toy with Santa. And it still works. Oh, I love it. He is adorable. And he's in great shape too. Mesmerizing. <laughs> he is awesome. Look at him. We'll put him over to the side. Oh, I have, oh geez, don't bother little elf. He was, he was on top of the bag, so I thought we would set him up here. Oh, we have another. We have a partner. Two of them. Oh, another little knee hugger elf. He still has his original sticker on the back. Filled with Excelsior. Takaara Busan Corporation, Tokyo, Japan. Not color fast. Don't worry, because you are not going to get put in the laundry. So we don't have to worry about that. You go up there with your friend. Great colors. Great colors. Now look at all these things. You know, that I've said it before. I'm going to say it again, and I'll say it again, and I'll say it again. They just don't make Christmas. <laughs> that was one's dancing. Christmas ornaments like they used to. I just don't feel like they have heart or style anymore. It's just whatever they can produce the fastest, that's what you get. Oh, 
Oh my, we have a whole, oh, there's another one. This Santa, oh, and there, this one is flocked though. It's not just all plastic with his reindeer team. This little guy, he's so cute. There's a lamb in there. What is Santa doing carrying a lamb? <laughs> oh boy. You wanna talk about kitsch. Kitsch is right here. This is kitsch. And what kitschy cuteness it is. You have another little knee hugger elf inside. He looks rather, he's probably glad to get out of there. <laughs> this is so much fun. What's this Santa? Oh, I see another elf. Oh my goodness, where to go? Oh, look at this. This is newer, but it's still fun. Easter Unlimited. Fun World. See, it even says Fun World. I told you it was fun. <laughs> we'll put him down here. We have some more newer. Oh, that's Goofy. Another plastic creation with the little elf. We have Goofy. Hmm. And this cutie with the musical instrument with that fab hair. Make sure I'm still recording, because we know how this goes. I am. We have some linens with, I think, a dead fly on it, so we'll just put that aside. Okay, it happened. Oh my gosh, it's like the elves just... <sighs> Look at these. Look at this one. Oh, this one's so cute, and it's little $3. you got to be kidding me. Oh, we have all these cuties. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to run short of elves at any time, I don't think. You know, these made their, their comeback again, but in the form of children. The elf is watching you and reports to Santa. So, we have another one. Oh my gosh. These would be great if you have a doorway and you can hang one on each side. I'm sure most of you do have a doorway. What is this guy? Let's get him out before he gets more damage. I've never, I've never seen one of these, but he is great. What is he doing? <laughs> oh, it's an elf. They must have made this, perhaps. So it's like the knee hugger elf, but an, an odd body. It's pipe cleaners. <sighs> Maybe he's sledding. He is fun. I have not seen one with that kind of body shape. More in the package. This one is wrapped. Let's see. I'm going to close my eyes. You can see first. Can you see? Or is there still more? Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Salt and pepper shaker, we're gonna call them the spaghetti Santas. Oftentimes this kind of style on the top is called spaghetti. These are lovely. They have the Japan sticker on the side. Oh my goodness. Oh, these are so cute. I won't have to, I'm gonna say I won't have to shop for Vintage Christmas ever again, but you know if I find it, I'm going to buy it. But these are amazing. I love the color on his cheeks yet, and then the blue on the eyes. In really nice condition. Those are great. Let's get some snowmen out here. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of oh, W.C. Fields, right? W.C. Fields, his little eyes. Another snowman. Now that there he is. Or Chet, yeah, W.C. Fields, that's who it is. Another little reindeer. Oh, here we go. So we have some picks for your arrangements. So these are plastic, but then they have the hard plastic um, kind of uh, sparkly glimmer shimmer deer. Now these, I can picture these being in your craft store today because they do have that look. If you think, you know, Target, Hobby Lobby, they definitely would probably carry something like that. Very modern, modern looking. What are these green guys? Oh, we have a little green deer with some flashy eyebrows or eyelashes. <laughs> oh. 
we have, again, the classic dancing Santa. I say he's dancing, and he looks like it, you know. You see these all the time in an array of sizes. Same shape, same color, but definitely an array of sizes from small to, to large. And perhaps Santa has some um, bling on too, but he's cute. Oh, look at this guy. This guy's so little. <laughs> he's so sad with his adorable. I love his little face. Oh, goodness. So the flopped ones, they do get wear over time. You see how um, it is missing and it is kind of chipped in some areas, but they're still great vintage pieces. Running out of space, running out of space. Oh, we have another elf. This one, oh, this one's different. Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, Department of Labor Industries, inspected by number 85 and approved. Well, thank you, number 85. You did a great job of inspecting. I have not seen, whoa. Let's hear me say it again. One with that kind of tag on it before. That's pretty neat. Look at their, their eyelashes. Can you see? <laughs> That's funny. You go up there with your friends. Mm, I'll put you on this side. Oh my goodness. Have you ever seen so many in your life? Oh, we have another lion. Oh. He's in a little bit better shape. He's not as rough. Still adorable. We'll put him up here in the front. This reminds me of um, Charles Dickens. I mean, that's not Charles Dickens, but you get the point. The Christmas Carol. We have some soldiers. Another Snoopy jumping rope. Some more snowmen. Let's see what else. Another soldier with a little mustache. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, it's a little fat one. Oh my goodness. All new material, Japan. A little fat elf. He is adorable. So this one has a hanger so you could hang on your tree. He is really cute. Little chubby one. We have another Santa with the bendable, almost like knee-hugging elf legs so he's fun too Get a close-up look on his face <laughs> there's some ornaments what is this is this a little dog or a cat it says japan on it that's interesting it does have a little tail <laughs> some angels oh my goodness this is adorable it's a little doll with the um, sleepy eyes but in a little Santa suit <gasps> that is precious that one will stay in my collection well let's let's face it a lot of these things are gonna stay in my collection especially all these guys because hey can you ever have enough knee hugging elves the answer to that, my friends, is no. You cannot. We're gonna end. Let me see if there's any, what is this guy? Oh my goodness, I do not have one this large. Oh, he is so cute. I don't know what he's supposed to be doing, but, so this is a pine cone elf. Made obviously with a pine cone, spun cotton head, head, um, pipe cleaner legs, and again, he has like a spun cotton hat. And he looks like he's holding, it looks like an ornament hanger to me, but I don't have one that's this tall. This is great. See how genius. Let's get a pine cone and some pipe cleaners and make a little elf. Perfect. He is so cute. We have some more Santas. This angel, rather, <laughs> I'm sure maybe person she's kissing is supposed to be in here. I'll have to take another look. We have a little, oh, this one goes with her friend that we found before. Look at that hair, very mod and hip. And then last but not least, we're going to end with another little one because these are 
favorites. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine knee hugging owls. <laughs> the 12 days of Christmas is not our nine knee hugging elves in there. They should be. They should revamp that. This is so much fun. I still have to go through all these again, clean some up, safely store them away. But I'm going to be set next year for Christmas. So I will definitely have to do something that's just dedicated to all the knee huggers because they need their own little special, special place. So thank you again, Mr. and Mrs. H. I cannot thank you enough for saving these for me and for thinking of me um, with the Christmas. It is appreciate, appreciated. Hey, go wear. Again, I wish you nothing but the best in your new endeavor with your new home. I'm sure that you will decorate it, decorate it, decorate it, um, just like you did your old home. There's so many neat things, and good luck with the moving, too. <laughs> but thank you again. I'm glad that I can lighten your load a little for moving, and I'm so glad that you bestowed upon me all these great Christmas items. They are in good hands and a good home. I hope you all enjoyed this. If this sparked any great vintage Christmas memories for you, or if you have your own stories about little knee-hugging elves, then be sure to share below in the comments. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, Happy 2021. You can never go wrong with vintage Christmas, ever. Thanks for watching, have a great day. I'll see you all next time.